Hi, this video is to help you fix your your broken KitchenAid blender. If you have the same issue I have, where you have the the teeth broken off the coupling, um, this is difficult to fix. Uh, apparently, if, uh, if you notice that the gap is too tight to fit a, a normal size um, pliers in, so uh, it seems difficult to fix without sending this away somewhere. But it's not necessary. Um, after some looking on the internet I found a, a simple method to do this. All you'll need is some sort of mallet or a hammer. You know, if you a mallet with a soft end is nice to protect um, your blender um, and a, a normal flathead screwdriver. So now I'll show you how to do the repair. Okay, first I should say that you need to have this unplugged um, and also this rotates um, clockwise to unscrew, so it's it's backwards than what you're used to. Okay, so this this doesn't seem like it should work, but you're gonna place the flathead screwdriver anywhere along here. This is rubber, so it should just stick. Uh, if you I don't have any leftover nibs, but if you do, you can place it against one of those. But all you're gonna do is just just hit in the direction so it spins clockwise. And you're going to have to do it a couple times and it's, it'll eventually just spin right off. It seems like it shouldn't work because it's moving with the motor shaft, but it actually will spin faster than the motor shaft can spin. So it'll quickly unscrew and then you can just see how, how short of a threading that is. And uh, then you can replace with your new one. You tighten it on and and um, use a wrench to tighten it on. Or even you, I've seen some people say you can turn on the blender to tighten it back, the new one back on. So, but getting this far is that's the greatest challenge. So, good luck.